Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to explain about uh, number series topic. Uh, uh, number series topic is very important in all competitive examinations, especially banking, railways, and uh, SSC, UPSC, CZ. Uh, in the last session, I already explained about uh, introduction part of number series. Uh, what uh, what kind of questions are asked from number series? Uh, in this session, I will explain a few problems uh, in this uh, number series. See this first question. Uh, what is the question he is uh, giving? 123, 128, 135, 136, 159 and uh, what will come at this question mark? What will come at this question mark? What will come in place of question mark in the following number series? That is the question he is asking. See here, uh, if you observe carefully all the given numbers 123, 128, 135, 146 and 159 all these numbers are very nearby numbers so definitely there is a chance that uh, all the numbers are uh, uh, additions once see what are the uh, what is the logic it is following every number is increases from 123 to 128 number is increases by 5 plus 5 next 128 to 135 plus 7 135 to 146 that is plus 11 after that 146 to 159 which is uh, plus 13 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 plus 13 if you observe these numbers 5 7 11 13 after that how much value you have to add that you have to find out if you observe these numbers 5 7 11 13 Guys, uh, some people will think that these are consecutive odd numbers. These are not consecutive odd numbers. These are, uh, there is a number 9 which is missed between 7 and 11. It means that these are not consecutive odd numbers. Then, what are these numbers? If you observe carefully 5, 7, 11, 13. These are consecutive prime numbers. These are consecutive prime numbers. So, consecutive prime numbers are... Uh, what is the next consecutive prime number? Next consecutive prime number after 13. That is plus 17. 159 plus 17. Which is nothing but 176. 159 plus 17. Which is nothing but 176. That will come at this question mark. Here the logic is all the numbers. All the numbers gaps are consecutive prime numbers this is the logic here if you know the prime numbers concept then you can easily answer these kind of questions here the answer for this question is 176 see the next one see here here are the numbers 1260 if you observe all these numbers, all these are decreasing order. All these values are decreases. Every value is decreases. How much it is decreases? Once uh, observe the gaps. Uh, gaps in the sense, what is the difference between this number and this number? All the values are decreases. So, you have to keep negative sign for each and every gap. 1260 minus 1169. 1260-1169 which is nothing but 91. 1260-1169 which is nothing but 91. Next, 1169-1088. Here it is 12. 12 plus 69 that is 81. Minus 81. Minus 81. After that, 1088 minus 1017. 17 and 88. 17 to 88 in the sense that is 71 minus 71. 1088 minus 71 which is equal to 1017. Next, see here 1017 minus 956. Here it is 44, 44 plus 17, 61. See, you got the logic here. Minus 91, minus 81, minus 61, minus 61. Minus, uh, minus, 50, minus 71 minus 61 after that uh, next logic should be minus 51 why because each and every value is decreased by 10 each and every value there is a gap of 10 so next gap will also be 
10 minus 91 minus 81 minus 71 minus 61 and minus 51 so what you have to do is 956 minus 51 so this value becomes 905 therefore in place of this question mark our answer should be 905 in place of question mark our answer should be 905 that is the answer next one see here 124 120.5 113.5 103 and 89 see here here also if you observe the gaps carefully 124 each and every value is decreases so you have to use negative sign for this 124 minus 3.5 124 minus 3.5 which is equal to 120.5 next from here to here that is also decreases 120 minus 7 120.5 minus 113.5 that is uh, minus uh, 7 next 113.5 to 103 it means uh, difference between these two 10.5 minus 10.5 113.5 minus 10.5 which is equal to 103 and from here to here it is uh, minus 14 from here to here it is minus 14 what did you observe from this here the gap is uh, 3.5 here also 3.5 here also 3.5 next one should also 3.5 increases which is nothing but minus 7 point, uh, 17 point uh, Five. So, if you subtract 17.5, 17.5 from 89, what you will get is, see here, this is 1 and this is 7, 71.5, 71.5 and 17.5, if you add these two, you will get 80. 9, 71 and 17 that is 87 87 88 88 plus 0 0.5 0 0.5 1 89 that is the answer 89 minus 17.5 which is equal to that is 71.5 that is the answer in place of question mark we must get 71.5 that is the answer guys i hope you enjoy the class thank you thank you very much for watching